Hi, I'm Mrs. Fleming, and I'm the Title I Reading Specialist at Benford Middle School. I'll be with you this week as we talk about main idea and finding the main idea in nonfiction text. For us to get started, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start sharing my screen with you so that you can see what we're going to be working on this week. So as I mentioned, we'll be finding the main idea in a nonfiction passage. To give you an overview of what the entire week looks like, you can see that I've laid it out here for you. So on Monday, we're going to actually talk about the definition of main idea and why it's important in reading. On Tuesday, we're going to look at text features and how text features can help support and identify the main idea. Wednesday, we'll review the idea of main idea and introduce a second strategy. On Thursday, we'll read another article and practice our strategies on our own for finding the main idea. And then on finally, on Friday, we'll write. Our objective this week is that 6.6b, the student will read and demonstrate comprehension of a variety of nonfiction texts. You will identify the main idea. My learning target for today is that I can define main idea and supporting details. I know that this past week you studied supporting details, and I know that you've become an expert on how to find supporting details in a text. This week we'll explore those supporting details further while also looking for the main idea. Why is the main idea so important? Main idea is really important because it helps good readers determine the information about the text. It ties a lot of ideas together. And then it also helps put a lot of other things in place. It helps me build comprehension about a passage. And especially if I can identify the main idea and the supporting details, it gives me a bigger picture about what the author is trying to say. Some terms to know before we get started is main idea, which is the point of the passage. It's what the passage is mostly about. Supporting details, this is information that's inside the text that supports what the article is mostly about or what the passage is mostly about. A topic sentence is typically the first sentence of a paragraph. It helps readers determine what the whole paragraph will be about. And the concluding paragraph is the last paragraph of a passage or reading. It wraps up the author's ideas and points. We'll talk more about topic sentence and concluding sentence, excuse me, concluding paragraph on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then again on Friday. What I would like you to do now is pause the video and go to the link below for the Flowcabulary video on main idea and supporting details, and check back with me once you're done. So after watching the video, we know that the main idea is what a text is mostly about. It's what the author really wants us to know. And then supporting details is the information that supports the idea of the main idea. So just like in the example in the vocabulary video, the topic of the story was about bears, but that bears are hunters. And that was the main idea. The supporting details were all of the information about bears having claws and paws help support that main idea. Check in with me tomorrow and we'll talk about our first strategy of using text features to help support or find the main idea. Until then, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.